What's up guys? Spiderbot here. Attack of the Minigun Hacker. Welcome. This is Call of Duty Ghost. Have you ever wanted to, you know, just have a nice little relaxed session with your friends? Play two hours into the morning longer than you really wanted to because, you know, you keep saying, this is the last game, this is the last game. We're just gonna, you know, this is the last game. And it never ends up being the last game. Well, that's what's happening here, okay? We're just trying to chill. We're just trying to have some fun. And we run into some douchebag hacker. It's like, can you see that? Do you hear that? He's got some freaking, I don't know. He's got like a, a silenced chainsaw or something. He, this dude has, it sounds like he has a silenced chainsaw. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Well, guess what my teammate, my teammate ends up picking up this guy's weapon. I think he, I, I think he must be dead. Uh, he picks up his weapon. Oh, there he goes right there. Okay, so he just killed this yeah. hacker dude. So apparently he doesn't have, uh, you know, invincibility yeah, on. But this guy, I mean, not only does he have, and you'll see in a second here, well, obviously I, I kind of ruined it with the title, and <laughs> the, the beginning, but he's got a silenced minigun. The guy's got a silenced minigun, and he has all the perks. And I've seen this, we've seen this on uh, Xbox 360 and uh, PS3, but uh, this is PS4. I haven't seen it as prevalent. Look at this, look at this. And it looks like a regular minigun, right? And, and the minigun, you can't really silence it. So he's got a silencer on it. I don't know how he did this, but you'll see the silencer is kind of glitched. You'll see it glitch, and you'll see in uh, in some subsequent rounds that uh, that it is in fact. But that is freaking insane. Um, so yeah, I have seen the guys with all the perks. I've seen guys under the map, and I know some people on Twitter. Well, that's that's not a hack. That's a glitch. And I mean, he's still taking advantage. He's still uh, using the glitch to get under the map and ruin the game for everybody, as is this guy. You know, I'm just going to give myself all the perks and uh, give myself a, a silence minigun because I'm not awesome at this game. Like, oh my god, I don't know. I don't understand why everybody hacks games. Like, you know, going back to COD 4. Look at this. Look at this. This is the freaking size of that. I'm like, what the hell is going on? What is going on? I'm like backing off. I'm like, is he actually... I didn't know if he was trying to shoot me through the wall or what, but there was a... Look at this. See this? See all the perks he has? And he's got the freaking minigun? I mean, come on, man. Insane. And we we all know that uh, the, the old CODs have been freaking hacked beyond belief. You know, you try and go on COD 4 or World at War or Modern Warfare 2 and you'd be lucky to get a, a game in without uh, a hacker in there, right? But, I don't know, maybe it makes them feel better about themselves when they can, you know, hack in invincibility and, and they can't die, right? <laughs> I don't know, and there he is. Yeah, killed me again. IED. Yeah, perfect. But I do get revived. Uh, I ended up dying again, but... Well, yeah, whatever, man. I don't know, what a, what a freaking... Oh, just ruins the game. Ruins my game. But we kept going. I mean, we didn't... Back up. Usually, if we run into a hacker, I mean, it depends on the magnitude of the hack, I guess. I mean, if the guy's just going to get a, a chopper gunner, and, and we've seen this in Modern Warfare 2, chopper gunner, he can shoot through walls, he's got aimbot, wall hack, and he's just taking everybody out. And as soon as you, as soon as you spawn in, he's, you know, you're dead. You spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die. So then it's like, okay, yeah, I've had enough of this Modern Warfare 2 bullshit with the chopper gun, and I'm just going to exit, the, you know, leave the game, right? Rage quit, whatever. I mean, that's an appropriate time to, you know, you, you can call it rage quitting, but, you know, why, look at this, see, I got the freaking minigun. I'm just trying it out. I'm like, look at the silencer. It's like floating around in the air. What the hell? But, uh, I, I mean, I put it away. I felt bad. I'm, I'm like, no, I, I can't use this thing. I was thinking about using it. I'm like, no, I can't use it. It's like the guy hacked it in or whatever somehow. I mean, he's not a juggernaut. Especially not a juggernaut with a, sli a silence minigun. Um, so, yeah, yeah. But we carry on, right? And I did this in uh, Modern Warfare 2 where I showed up some uh, some hackers in Modern Warfare 2. And we ended up winning the game. So hopefully we're going to try and do that and uh, pull out a win versus this guy. But it's freak me, it, it freaks me out because when, when he does shoot that minigun, it, it's as if he's right next to you every single time. We've seen that in Custom Zombies where... Some of the weapons sometimes, if, uh, you know, the, the co-op, your co-op partner is shooting across the map somewhere, but you hear him as if he's right beside you. That's the case with the silence minigun. You hear it, you know, no matter where he shoots across the map, 
And that's why I think, oh my god, the silencer is stuck in the wall. He's trying to shoot me because I can hear him. He's like right beside me. But yet he's not. Right? Does that make sense? Now, the one thing that uh, that I don't really like, um, you know, back in, in Modern Warfare 3, uh, Infinity Ward was was out there. Infinity Ward, they, they were a lot more proactive with stuff that, that I've seen uh, than I've seen here so far with, uh, with ghosts. And I'm sure they're working on stuff. And I know... They have, like, the, the, obviously this time around, they have to deal with the next-gen consoles, right? I mean, they didn't have that back in Modern Warfare 3. But uh, at least they had the I, IW Enforcers account. Well, that's not applicable anymore. They don't use that account. I mean, when asked, well, how do I report people for you guys? And it's all in-game, so you can just go at the end of the game or whatever, select the player, uh, go over onto the, uh, the scoreboard or the uh, lobby list and select the player and report them for various abuses of the game, right? For hacking, cheating, uh, glitching, or whatever, right? So you can go and do it that way, but you know how, how well, how good does that work? I don't know, or how well does that work? Um, we used to be able to, hey, IW Enforcers, the, here's a hack, here's an attached image, with uh, the gamer tag or the PSN ID, at least you have a little bit of proof, or you can uh, produce a little video and throw it up private on your channel, on YouTube, and send them a link, right? Um, and and provide, you know, uh, proof basically that way. And, and this guy, he's got like a, a helo pilot or whatever. So I'm trying, I'm, I'm staying hidden. I'm like, I don't want to go out just in case he can see me through the walls. I mean, I'm sure he can see me through the walls, but right now I don't think he can shoot me through the walls. And the bomb gets planted. And I'm like, uh, no, it's it's down by A, and I'm I'm all I'm all discombobulated here. I'm like, what the hell? What am I doing? No, no, we got to go down here. And there's the um, the escalators, not that way. Escalators right there to get to A. But uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it here. Let's get some teammates to help me at least. Um. So uh, just going back to the whole uh, Infinity Ward thing. Uh, you know, again, we, we can't provide that proof. We can just say, oh, report them for, for hacking or whatever. And we don't have we don't have COD Elite. COD Elite is not connected for ghosts, and they're going to be phasing it out in 2014, or so I'm told. I mean, we do have the uh, the Ghost app, but it's not, you know, it doesn't provide nearly as much information as uh, COD Elite used to. So we really have no way of verifying. You know, let's say we report somebody, and uh, a couple days later, they get reset. Well, we can actually go up. We used to be able to go into COD Lead and, and look up their gamer tag or PSN ID, verify. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Haha, the guy reported. Yeah, you suck. You suck at this game. You suck at life because you got to cheat to win for whatever reason. And you just got your stats reset. And pff, probably half of them just came back. You know, they'll, they'll come back and, and, uh, and just re-cheat their way to wherever they were before they got, um, before they got deranked. But hopefully, there were some people that actually got banned from the console. I don't know. I don't know if that actually happens. So, but there's been no word from uh, from Infinity Ward at all. Yes, you got the the all the console different flavors of consoles to deal with. But you know, it's real unfortunate that uh, that this game has been hacked so soon. I mean, we did see we have seen all pretty much all the CODs get hacked. But I think, I mean, Ghost has been pretty damn quick to get hacked. A lot quicker in that I remember. Uh, compared to my, what the fr see, I can't even tell where this guy is. I don't know if that was him or not, but uh, I no, I don't think oh. that was him. My uh, my teammate actually killed him. So we're doing actually quite well. We're coming back here. We're uh, we just tied it up right here, or we will be tying it up after I defuse. So that's good. We're actually, you know, on par here with this freaking hacker. Even though he he does have a fair number of kills, but I really want to put it in his face and say, hey, you know. We kicked your ass. You had to hack. Give yourself all the perks. Give yourself a freaking overpowered silence minigun, and then uh, and then still lose the game. That's what I want to. That's what I want to do at the end of this game, and then uh, we'll report we'll report him. But um, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing for all the hacks. Um, I know they're not going to do anything with the leaderboards because uh, people have. Uh, have gotten into some of these lobbies not on their own accord. It's been, you know, you get into a lobby and there's there's somebody else has hacked the lobby and you're getting all kinds of XP for it and ranking up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, yeah, it, it, I, I can kind of understand that would be a little bit unfair to just wipe the leaderboards, period. But 
Uh, we got to do something about these hackers, man. Like, it's really, you know, it hasn't been as prevalent on PS4, but I know there's been a lot on PS3. And it's only going to grow. The problem's only going to grow if they don't do anything about it. So, and we haven't heard anything. I haven't even heard anything about the uh, supposed dedicated servers that uh, that uh, these guys are supposed to be running on uh, Ghosts. Haven't heard anything. I don't even know if they're running dedicated right now or not. So, yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. But uh, this has been Attack of the Killer Minigun Hacker. And uh, we did show him up by defeating him. And didn't have uh, too bad a game. Ended up with uh, 13 kills. I think he had like 15 or something like that. Yeah, he had like 15. I went 13, 5, and 2. So, not too bad. Anyways, let's get rid of these hackers. Make sure when you guys are in game and you see some of this stuff going on. And whether it's that glitch where somebody's under the map on freight. Report them like they should get reported. They're they're taking advantage of a glitch. Yeah, it's it's up to Infinity Ward to fix it, but people still shouldn't be taking advantage of stuff like that. You know, in order to get like chem strikes and basically be invincible in the game, right? It just ruins the game for everybody else. And same with the hackers. Report them. Report them in game. Again, I have no idea if it's going to do anything or not, but it's better than nothing, right? That's it for today. I'm spidering about.